Hi, uh, I'm Jacob Buczynski, the creator of Revenge of the Sunfish and Revenge of the Sunfish 2. And, um, well, basically every level in the game is supposed to be a different genre and it's playing around with, um, like, uh, gameplay mechanics, what people's expectations, what what people expect to happen, I try to do the opposite of that. And it's also based on some dreams that I had. I'm trying to make it like like these dreams. I've seen a bit of uh, gameplay footage and I've been told by a vast number of people that this is a very unique game. Um, uh, from what I've seen, uh, it seems to swap between all sorts of different uh, game styles, all sorts of different mechanics and that. I mean, how did you come up with such a thing? Um, well, I, I've, been, I've been working on it for quite a long time. I've been working on it for about five years and I've been through different, um, different stages where I worked on it different ways. Like, there was, uh, I think for a few years, I was just developing levels without really thinking about them at all because I thought if I sort of lucidly ap approached the um, problem that I would come up with something potentially quite original. And so it's sort of like when you're on the phone and you do drawings, Sometimes you do very interesting ones because it's just tapping into your subconscious. Like that's the sort of kind of thing that I want to try and um, uh, tap into and reflect. Show. Like, okay, so um, so how does the uh, the gameplay work then? I mean, like, how do you how do you access these different uh, elements? I mean, or, what's going on? <laughs> uh, well, each level has its own logic, and um, it's each level has puzzles and um, goals, and if you successfully complete a level or if you meet certain requirements um, it goes to certain paths and if you um, but if you don't meet those requirements it just goes to different paths but um, yeah I guess the incentive for people to um, to try and discover all the levels is that uh, you can only access some if you do certain things so. well obviously if you if you don't manage to succeed uh, it actually it doesn't penalize you as such it, it gives you a almost an entirely new game to play yeah that's right I, I quite I don't want people to get stuck because uh, a lot of people um, some people are put off by playing games altogether because they haven't got uh, very fast reflexes or they um, yeah, they find games hard, so with my game you can play through the whole game by losing and dying. That's like the idea. <laughs> There's quite a few people out there who, who would probably be uh, thankful for such a, such a, uh, a unique method of not losing, basically. <laughs> so um, tell us a bit about how you came about developing or something. Is it, for, is it just for PC or is it for Mac and Linux? How much um, have you put into this? Well, it's just for PC at the moment, but I am working on um, porting it to iOS and Android. Uh, in the future, that's the next step after PC, basically. What kind of distribution have you got uh, for the game? I mean, how are, you, how are you giving this to people? Well, people have told me that Steam is the way to go. I did want to dis distribute it um, independently. I was just going to have it on my website, and I've thought about a few different things, but I guess I might go through Steam, since people say that that's really good. Uh, what kind of price point are we looking at for the game? Um, at, at this point, I was thinking of charging five, uh, five Australian dollars, so it's approximately three pounds. So I think that's quite a reason. I think that's quite fair. Uh, all right, okay, so um, once again, thank you for talking to us, and I uh, hope you have a good time at Wrist. Yeah, uh, nice talking to you too, and I, I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival as well. Thank you very much.